What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. In today's video, I'm gonna go over Facebook ads step-by-step -step tutorial. If you're brand new to Facebook advertising, this is a great video for you. We're gonna go over exactly how to create a Facebook ad, what objectives can you use, uh, the targeting, we're gonna go over all of that, the budget, and then actually creating an ad, going live with it, and then we'll go into Facebook Ads Manager, and then kind of show you what the numbers should look like, what what are campaigns, what are ad sets, what are ads, how do you go and duplicate an ad, what makes sense there, right? And then we'll go in through the stats and look at what I would look at in the Facebook stats to make sure that your ads are working, uh, what you should be looking for if you want to change an ad or, or numbers that you should look at when you know an ad is about to tank or if an ad is still doing really well, what should you do there, right? So we are in Facebook Ads Manager here. Um, and to go and create an ad, you probably, if you're brand new, you probably don't even have this, right? Um, but with every single uh, Facebook personal account, there is a personal ad account attached and so if you just go to facebook.com slash ad slash manager so facebook.com slash ad slash manager you should end up on a page just like this right um, and so we're going to go to the test account that i have here right so over here you'll probably just have one account which is totally fine and so to be able to go and create an ad, you'll probably just see a create button just like this right in the middle here. But for this, we're gonna click on create. And then here is where you would choose your marketing objective. So with Facebook, you've got different objectives, right? So you've got brand awareness and you can hover over the eye on all these and Facebook will, will tell you what it is, right? So increase awareness for your brand by reaching people who are more likely to be interested in it. You've got reach here. All right, so what is that? Show your ad to the maximum number of people. And then what I would do is go through and um, we use typically three or four of these, right? So we use conversions, which you can see here, drive valuable actions to your website or in Messenger. And so usually that would work if you have a landing page. A landing page is simply a one-page website where they're either going to grab your information or not. So we use conversions, we use lead generation, which is essentially like conversions, but it's within Facebook. So this says drive more sale, more sales leads, uh, email addresses. So essentially it's a form that allows you to grab their name, their email, their phone number. You can even go into more uh, general questions and individualize it there. Then there are video views. Obviously, if you have a video and you want to get the most amount of views possible for the cheapest cost, Typically, video views is a good one. If you have an app, you can do an app install. Engagement would be if you want the most amount of likes, comments, or shares in your ad, you would use engagement. Traffic is just sending the most amount. You basically want the most amount of people to land on your website, a landing page, uh, or or any or anything like that, right? You just want the most amount of traffic to that page as possible for the cheapest amount. That would be traffic. And then lastly is messages. So you want to get the most amount of messages to your page as possible to create conversations. So the, the again, the four or five that we use the most would be conversions. Uh, we do use traffic in some instances just to test out. So usually you would test traffic versus conversions or traffic versus lead generation. Uh, and then we use engagement and then messages. So those are probably the five that we use the most. Uh, generally, we use lead generation, engagement, and conversions the most, and then messages and traffic. So for this, we're going to use lead generation because it's probably the easiest if you're brand new to Facebook advertising. So I use I usually like to call the campaign name whatever we're going to uh, run. So if it if you I work with real estate agents and loan officers. So for this, it would be if you have a listing, it'd be one two three Main Street, or if you have a lending campaign, it would be FHA, right? So or 3% conventional, right? So uh, you have 3% down on a home. So I would call it whatever it is. Um, so let's just call it uh, FHA because I do a lot of real estate 
and mortgage. So um, instead of doing a real estate example, I'll do a lending example here. So then I would call it whatever the, um, the objective is. So if it was traffic, I would just call it T. If it was messages, I would call it M. Conversion, C, right? You kind of get the, the gist here. Uh, lead generation, a lot of people call them lead forms. Uh, I call them lead forms as well. So I would call it lead forms and then the date that we're running it. So it is the 14th, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, we're gonna click on continue. The ad set level is where you would create your, um, your audience, so who you're targeting. And then it's also the budget and then a little bit more complicated would be the bid that you would do. We're not gonna go into that, but we can choose the uh, page here as well. Uh, and I like to call this whatever we're targeting. So I'm gonna do, um, let's do Frisco, Texas. I'm gonna do a 10, let's do eight mile radius plus uh, lending specific targeting. And you'll see what that means in a second. Right, so what we can do here is go into, we want everybody who lives in Frisco or you know, North Dallas basically. So we're gonna do Frisco. We're gonna do an eight mile radius typically, right? So uh, this number will give you the potential reach. Uh, right now it says fewer than a thousand, but I know that's not right. Um, and to be able to go under 10 mile radius for your area, you would just drop the pin. If you just do a city like this, you can't go under 10 miles. If you drop the pin literally right next to it, then you just use this and then you can go um, up to just just one mile radius around your area, right? And then for me, what we're gonna choose since this is an a FHA campaign or like a 3%, 3.5% down campaign, we're going to choose people who are 27 and they're probably a first time home buyer, right? So um, I'll limit this to 45 because I still want a pretty big area, right? So this is 170,000. We did 40, that gets us a weird number. Uh, and these aren't always perfect, right? So if you did 40, you're not looking at less than 1,000 people. It's probably in the 100,000 range. Uh, but since I'm gonna do some targeting here, we'll keep it at that. And I do wanna exclude uh, National Association Realtors. And you don't have to do these. Um, some lenders or, or loan officers really like having real estate agents on here because they can see that and they can see that they're advertising and they can become a loan partner or a realtor partner eventually. Uh, some things that you can do here are pre-qualification. So if you're not in the loan, uh, loan officer space or real estate space, you can go into doing a ton of different targeting, right? So if you're um, and if you have a gym or a gym client, you can do fitness, you can do, uh, right, so interest physical fitness, you can go into like Weight Watchers, right, you've got all of these different things and then it'll, it will suggest things, right, so my fitness pal and you go into all of that. Uh, for this, we're obviously working on lenders, so we would do those specific targeting so we do pre-qualifications and then you just suggestions. Uh, mortgage calculator, interested in mortgage loans, interested in first time home buying, house hunting, um, single family detached home. Uh, and you can go into all of these, right? And then just see what that would get you. So we're looking at 30,000 people. That's not bad, right? Um, I would probably increase our radius just to see what it looks like if we do a little bit more. So we've got 35,000, do 10. You got about 40,000. We'll keep it at 10. So I want to come up here and change my targeting. So we're going to do lending specific 10 mile radius around Frisco, people who live in this location. And then from here, we've got our audience, right? So we know our audience. Scroll down here. If you want to edit placements? You can. Um, you can do Facebook feeds and Instagram feeds. Um, you can do stories and feeds. Um, Ultimately, what you want to do is test here, right? So um, with this specific objective, you can't go into all of these different uh, instant articles. But if you did have traffic or a conversions or a, an engagement, you can go into all of these. So there would be check boxes along all of these. And Facebook generally wants you to uh, do all of, the, uh, um, all of the placements. So you can't come in here and 
and basically say, I don't want to show this to news feeds. I don't want to show this to uh, Facebook Marketplace. Um, you can do all of that, right? I would recommend just doing Facebook feeds um, because that's going to get you the best results possible. You can go into Instagram feeds if you want. So I would recommend just doing Facebook feeds if you're brand new to Facebook advertising. You can see here our reach is 46,000 people. Uh, a good daily budget to start out with if you're local is about $15 or higher. Uh, if you're doing a listing ad for a real estate agent, you can typically get away with a little bit less. Um, but I would say $15 is going to be a good range for you. Don't even worry. If you're new, don't even worry about the interest side of things. So then going into your ad, this is where you actually create your Facebook ad, right? So we're going to choose uh, FHA because that's the example that I had. And then what I like to do is if we're using um, different forms of copy if we're eventually going to split test, which split testing means you're going to test one ad versus another ad, right? So I like to call it copy one. So the text above the image would be the first copy and then picture one, right? So copy one, pick one. So that eventually, if we want to do another form of copy, we would do copy two, pick one. So we're, we're split testing. Uh, we're essentially testing a copy versus another copy, right? So copy one would be like super long copy with a lot of benefits and features. Uh, copy two would be super short. Uh, and we would test those against each other. What is getting us the best results, right? So that's how I generally like it. If you're doing a video, obviously this would be like vid one, All right? So we're just going to, going to keep it with copy one, pick one. Uh, and this is where you're going to choose your image. So we're going to come in here and choose the image that we want to do. Uh, let's just browse and see what we can come up with. So I'm just going to do one of these because I don't really want to spend a whole lot of time on the ad side of things. I've got a ton of different videos. If you want to watch me create a mortgage ad or a real estate specific ad, I'll link that in the description of this video. Right. So the first thing would be like headline. So uh, an example of a good headline would be, hey, Frisco residents. Right. Um, so we would say that. So your headline would be, hey, Frisco residents. And then you would generally uh, have a statement or a question, right? So uh, for this campaign, you could say, would you buy a home for 3.5% down, question mark, right? That's a good headline. If they if they think that need, they need to put down 20%, then you can say, hey, you can buy a home for 3.5% down. Another thing that you could do is state a statistic here, right? Or uh, another question. So a statistic would be, did you know that... Um, you know, 56% of home buyers don't put 20% down when buying a home, question. Uh, or you could just literally make that a statement. You could say 50%, 56% of, and I don't know that if that's if that's accurate or not, you would know in your state or your area. You would say 56% of home buyers do not put 20% down, or you or they would put they put less than 20% down to purchase a home, right? So that would grab their attention, right? So we're going to say, you know, 56% of home buyers put less than 20% down on a home purchase, All right? And then you would say, uh, find out how you can purchase a home for less than 20% down. Tap learn more to find out, to get more information. Right, so if they're interested in that, uh, and this, this isn't a proven ad, uh, I'm just coming off of this off the dome, right? So this is kind of that information. Um, sorry about that, dog in the background. Uh, put 20% down, put less than 20% down on a home. We're gonna click learn more here. Again, uh, this is not a tested campaign. I'm literally just coming up with this. And then what you can do is you can add emojis. You can do all of that type of stuff, right? And then this is where you would create your lead form. Uh, I've got more videos on creating lead form ads. I'll link that in the description below. I don't want to take too much of your time here. So then we're going to click on confirm, and then your ad is live, right? So your ad is live. Uh, you'll 
you will be able to see this. You'll see this in review here. Facebook usually reviews ads for 24 to 48 hours. My guess would be a lot less than that, right? Typically, it's it's less than an hour. Sometimes Facebook is crazy and um, and it takes longer than than that, but usually it's within an hour or two at max, right? So here in your ads manager, you'll be able to see your ads. Um, here you'll see this, this is in review. When it goes to a live ad, it'll say active with a green checkbox. If it's inactive, it'll be gray with inactive here. And then you'll be able to see, so we're at the campaign level. So the campaign level is where your overarching campaign would be, right? So if you're doing a, an FHA campaign, then you would see uh, your overall campaign. And then within each campaign, there are multiple ad sets and potentially multiple ads, right? So with this, we've only got one ad set and one ad for the full campaign. Um, and this is where you can see all of your numbers, right? So if we click on this, if we click on this link here, that'll go to the ad set for that campaign. And if we have multiple ad sets within each campaign, so say you want, say you're a lender in California and you want to do multiple markets, instead of doing an overarching, um, you know, if you if you live in like Texas, right? If you want to do a full-on Texas ad, you can you can target all of Texas and people who are interested in lending. You can also go into each area, so you can do different targeting specific to Austin, specific to Dallas, specific to Houston. Uh, specific to Waco, right? And you would have different ad sets uh, targeting each of those areas. I recommend that you do one ad per ad set. So if you do um, testing for an ad, so earlier I talked about split testing copy. What I would do here is I would do, um, I would call this your split test, right? So I would call this Frisco 10 mile lending specific uh, copy one pick one, right? And I'll choose publish here. And then if I wanted to choose a different form of copy, what I would do is he here is I would click on this checkbox. I would duplicate, so I would duplicate this. So it's showing the exact same thing. When you duplicate, it's going to show the, it's going to basically create a copy of the ad set with all of the targeting, with all the placements, with the exact budget, along with the ad that it's attached to or the ad that is within the ad set. So you'll copy everything exactly like it is. So basically you want to keep it on the original campaign and you'll click, click on duplicate. So when you duplicate, essentially you create copies of your ads, your ad set, everything in here is the exact same, right? So your budget is the same, your audience is the same, even when you go to, so you'll see copy here, right? So if you go to the copy, the ad is already done here. It's the exact same thing that we wrote in the original ad. So if you want to split test, you'd come in here and change this copy, right? So you would just, uh, if you want to keep it super basic, then you would say, um, right, so you could copy, you could essentially split test those two things, right? I'd recommend not doing that if you're brand new um, because it's going to get a little bit complicated, but I just wanted to show that to you and that's how you do that. And then if you want to go in and so go back to your ad sets, click on this, um, and then what you want to do is essentially publish that, right? If you want to go and choose different ad, or if you want to target different cities, right? So we're doing Frisco here. If you wanted to duplicate that, you'd come in here, duplicate that ad set, click on duplicate, and then you would go change the targeting to where you want to target, right? So if we want to target just Austin, Texas instead of Frisco, we could come in here and do Austin, Texas. And that's what we could do, right? So we're targeting Frisco with one ad set, we're targeting Austin with another ad set. And then I would come in here and change that. So Austin, 10 mile radius, lending specific, copy one, pick one, and that is our ad set, right? And then the ad will be, will be the exact same, right? So the ad uh, will be the exact same for all of them. And if we choose all of these, you can see all three ads are the same. And then uh, for 
looking at all the numbers, right? So what numbers should you be looking at here? You've got all sorts of things. Uh, I re recommend going to the ad level. So choosing the campaign, back to campaigns, choose the campaign you want to look at, the ad set that you want to look at, right? Or you can look at all three of them. So you can come in here and choose the ad that you want to look at and then go to the ad level. And then what I would do is for most of these, you'll want to go to performance and click. So if you click on columns, performance and clicks, these are all the numbers that you're going to want to look at, right? So your relevancy score is a good number. Um, it's one to 10, anything above six or better is probably good. Um, CPM is how many, uh, how, what the cost is to reach a thousand people. Uh, for lending specific, anywhere around the 15 to $20 range is a good CPM. Cost per click, anything under a dollar. Click through rate, anything two to 3% is pretty good. If you're doing 3% or more, keep that ad running. Uh, cost per lead or results here, right? Cost per result would be cost per lead or the cost per engagement uh, or cost per, per like 10 second video view or something like that, right? Um, if you're doing leads, totally depends. Um, what I usually tell people is if you're doing $5 per lead or better, you're probably doing a good job. But the thing is, if you have a $10 per lead and you're getting results, you're getting appointments booked, you're getting closed loans, you're getting closed deals, uh, you're getting purchases, whatever you are doing, um, the cost per result doesn't matter as much as the cost per acquisition or cost per closed client or closed loan, right? That's the only number that really matters. If your cost per lead is really high, but you're closing more business from that ad, your cost per result doesn't necessarily matter. So always, always, always look at your cost per result in terms of your cost per acquisition or your cost. Um, you kind of you kind of would say your your uh, uh, your ROI, your ROAS would be your results uh, on your ad spend, right? So your return on ad spend. So that is the best number that you can possibly look at. Re return on your ad spend, return on investment. Um, all these numbers are great and will give you a good idea of what you should look out for. But ultimately, return on investment and return on ad spend is your best bet there. All right, guys, so that is a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on Facebook ads, how to go and create that, what campaigns, ad sets, and ads look like, and then your numbers. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for future videos, or if you have any questions about past videos, make sure that you comment. I'm an open book. I'm here to help you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content on real estate, loan officers, or lending campaigns specific, or even just Facebook ads and Instagram advertising in general, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.